It's like okay. something out of Big Bang Theory, um, <laughs> where uh, where you you seem fine delivering to camera and fine chatting amongst other people. It's the minute you get to talk to a girl. Is that the is that the issue? Um, not not necessarily. I mean, it could have been. Normal everyday situations, I'm fine, but it's usually kind of situations where I'm having to make a good impression. So it might be something like um, a job interview oh. and driving tests have been a kind of bane in my life. Can <laughs> so you it, drive? No, not uh, yet. How many times have you tried? <laughs> uh, four times right. now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what are you worried about? I mean, what is the fear that you're just going to make yourself look like a fool or that they're just not going to like you? What, what's the fear? It's, that's quite that's quite a good question I, I that's one of the things one of the positives I've drawn from the um, from my experience on first dates is that it's actually made me realize that there's actually very little to worry about I think as I said it's about kind of not making the kind of right impression that people will think this person isn't um, yeah. Isn't what because I'm what looking. struck me is when I was watching it, the, you'd sort of you'd be very nervous on the date, and then you'd go back and you'd speak to the cameras about how the date was going, and all I wanted to say was, what you're saying to camera now, tell her. Like when you were saying, you know, I'm not very good, I'm not very good at this, I get quite nervous, and I'm da da da, and I thought, just tell her. I mean, even you're the expert at this sort of thing. Is it okay to wear your heart on your sleeve, or should you try and hide it and put up a facade? I think it honestly is the best policy. I mean, I've always kind of said that people say to me, you know, I get nervous on a date. You know, I've been on dates and I get nervous. And I get loads of people going, I go on dates, I'm so nervous. And I'm like, you know what? So is the other person. Yeah, this isn't just true. kind of you that's out there going, I can't do this. It's just having an understanding and passion with the other person. Some girls like the honesty to say, do you know what? I'm really nervous because they'll go, so am I. Me and then too. there are some girls that would be like, could be a bit put off by it. Being, right. but, so it's kind of gauge and reaction. But I always think if you're nervous, just say. And but, I always think he, you're probably more to be with somebody, I imagine, that is going to go, oh, and just be open and honest too. I imagine that would be somebody you'd be better suited to. Oh, definitely. I very, very much believe that, um, that kind of being kind of open and honest. I'm not one who enjoys kind of playing games with yeah, people. Yeah, um, So I... But we're a match. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, so if I like, if I do like somebody, I will be kind of upfront things. I was actually going to thinking about last night and stuff. I mean, I coming on last night. I, there was a, a kind of moment when I was kind of at um, prep school where there was a girl I fancied. Because you know, again, I was, I was very shy at that yeah. age. I left little notes in the, the desk. Oh. And it was just. Like, and you, really you, sweet. I know yeah. it's lovely. <laughs> is it? Is it also small talk? You, it's yeah, small talk as well. I mean, as you say, the kind of the the politics thing. That wasn't, I mean, a, good that idea. wasn't, that wasn't a good idea <laughs> for many reasons because it's not the kind of a good subject to talk about on a first date, but also people aren't comfortable with exposing their political kind of allegiances. <laughs> you are asking quite a lot on the first date. Even in private, let alone on national television, I'm very comfortable with it. But I, I felt I felt bad for Adela in that circumstance because it was afterwards. I just thought that was so a bad idea. What are you looking for? I mean, who is the dream girl? What sort of person? Because you you'd quite like to find someone you want. You would like no, a definitely. girlfriend. Definitely. Yes. Well, I mean, I, I I think first of all, kind of importance is kind of kindness, kind of supportiveness. As somebody who's supportive, um, a, and but also kind of adventurous, willing to kind of try. You like things. travel, don't you? I, I enjoy travelling. Yeah. That's very much. That's um, I've uh, just come back from Israel, but I spent a year abroad in Moscow during my t university course. And do you talk about that in a date? I, I we, we did. I do talk about those things. You it's, were better uh, on the second date because yeah. you did start to bring that up a little bit more. Yeah. I thought that one looked like it was going quite well. Yes, it was. I, I, I thought it went well, and I was very kind of fond of Lydia. But I, I think that what happened was that kind of life kind of got in the way, and that we kind of well, kind of our paths went in separate, separate directions. directions. Yes. <laughs>